السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم on behalf of Marqas Sahaba, the voice of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we present to you lesson number 2173 of our daily nasiha and advice. Today, with the grace and mercy of Almighty Allah Jalla Wala, we focus on the 8th of Rabi Ul Akhir. Anabi Huraira radiallahu an, Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu states, Anna Rasul Allah sallallahu alayhi wa kan, Ida utiya. When it was brought to Nabi alayhi salatu salam, Ida utiya bi awwali thamara, that it was brought to the Master alayhi salatu salam, the first fruit of the season, for example now, watermelon, mel- watermelon, and then mangoes, and then leeches, and so forth, call. Then Habibuna sallallahu alayhi sallam used to make the following dua, Allahumma barik lana fi madinatina, Ya Allah in our city give us baraka and blessing, Wa fi thimarina, in our fruit give us baraka, Wa fi muddina, wa fi sa'ina, mud and sa are the instruments they would use for weighing those days, Barakatan ma'a baraka, one baraka upon a baraka. Now the question arises, what is baraka? So baraka is al ul qalila wal manafi ul kathira. Maybe you have only two, three mangoes and there's six, eight people. So the amount is few, but ten people, eight, ten, twelve people can benefit from it. So that is baraka. So not we keep on throwing away, eat quarter, eat half and throw away. No, that is wastage and unacceptable. So always ask Allah for baraka. ثُمَّ يُنَاوِلُهُ Then رَحْمَةَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ Mustafa صلى الله عليه أخلاق كريمة Sublime character who take that fruit and give it أصغر من So to the youngest child من بحضرته من الولدان So the youngest one, smallest one Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم give the hadith in Ibn Majah So many lessons to learn from here Number one, when the fruits come make shukr that the city we are living in and the fruit Allah is blessing us the the instruments we use that we weigh it with, you know, if we are selling and so forth. Say, Ya Allah, grant us baraka, ma'a baraka, meaning keep on giving us baraka. So how will baraka come in our life? Quran Kareem gave us the recipe prescription. وَلَوْ أَنَّ أَهَلَ الْقُرَاءَ مَنُوا وَاتَّقَوْ لَفَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ بَرَكَاتٍ مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ When you, the people of the towns and the cities, you adopt the quality of true iman, there must be no doubt, no skepticism, and taqwa, in khalwa, in jalwa, in privacy, in public, in all matters, Allah will open the doors of baraka from the skies, from the land, from the sand, all direction. That is the fadl of Allah. Then Nabi alayhi salam said, Malhal malam yarham sagirana, walam yu waqir kabirana falaysa minna. People who don't show mercy, compassion to the young, small ones, that do not show respect to the elderly, they're not from us. The hadith in Mishka, Sharif, Mustad Ahmad, various compilations. So therefore, the young, young children, give them the fruit, and in that way, they will also become healthy, and in that way, they also will respect the elders, inshallah. So remember, Remember, kamat adin o tudan. As you treat others, so you will be treated. We treat them, the children, with respect. They will respect us. We treat them rough and tumble. So they also will not worry much about us. So this is the beautiful system of Islam. And Mustafa Habibuna sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us. Allah give us tawfiq. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.